Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Madison, Robbie, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you in your new season? Thank you. We're good. Doing We're great. good. Yeah. In, uh, all right, episode. then. Well, I'm going to start with you, Madison. Women are always first in my world. Thank amen. you, Valder. I like that. Uh, okay. Thanks, Robbie, for amen in, in, uh, in the background. <laughs> Tell me about what is my audience going to see and see as the keys that's going to excite them? Oh, man. Well, um, Siesta Key is full of drama. So it's a, it's a group of friends. We all grew up together um, in this, with a beautiful backdrop that is Siesta Key. Um, so they get to watch a lot of relationships, a lot of friendships, fighting, um, making up. Um, new faces. And, and some new faces. So that's in particular this season. Um, I think Robbie brings a big element of surprise and controversy. So it's, it's a good season for sure. Robbie, what's your controversy in the mix? Because that's what it seems that reality shows thrive off is that controversy. It is. And it, it, I guess the old saying goes, if they're talking about you, you're doing something right. Yeah. Well, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I, yeah, I don't know if I agree with that one, no. but <laughs> you want to be talked about. You want to be talked about in a good light and get ahead of the crowd. Is that what's going to happen to you? Sorry? You want to be ahead of the crowd. Is that what's going to happen to you? Because there's so many people on Siesta Keys. There. You guys got to want to be standouts. There are a lot of people on Siesta Key. There's a lot of pretty people on Siesta Key as well. Um, I think that's where a lot of the drama stems from. And I'm just coming in there with the girl that I have feelings for, trying to get along with her friends and win her over. So let me ask you this. So do you guys put your regular life on hold to do this? Or you still try to uh, uh, balance your regular life and being on screen? How does that work? Well, see, that's what I think makes Sets Siesta Key apart from these other reality shows. Like Robbie was on The Bachelorette and that you do have to put your life on hold, right? Yes, especially um, for someone else's story. Right, right. Um, but Siesta Key, we are just living our lives in this town where we live and where we grew up. So... Um, you were just throwing cameras into the mix yeah. and um, like showing people, people still our real do lives. Their, their daily jobs. Yeah, Juliet's over at the boutique. I I'm still working on Rebella, and they show that in in you know the episodes throughout the season. So I, it's a very good portrayal of you know what our summer was like, just <laughs> living our living out in Siesta Key. Yeah. All right, your regular life. Madison, it says that, you know, you're pursuing acting in L.A., yes. but you're dating a much older man. Tell us about that a little bit. I am. So I have had some wonderful opportunities from um, ever since I've started on Siesta Key, um, and one of those opportunities brought me to L.A. and gave me the opportunity to feel, you know, have a passion for acting. Um and so that brought me out to L.A., which connected me with one of our former producers on Siesta Key. He was a producer season one. And yes, he is much older. Um, but we reconnected and um, began dating. So I took that relationship back to Siesta Key with me and kind of let that unfold in front of a whole very opinionated group of friends. <laughs> okay. As a friend, the opinions of the friends, the only one that matter, or is your family, are, are they on board, or are they, they've got an opinion also? They do have an opinion, um, and it is not the best. <laughs> they obviously, you know, they want the best for me, and so they are for sure skeptical, um, and you get to see all of that unfold on, on Siesta Key. Okay, Robbie, what juicy drama are we going to be able to get into? I want you to whet my audience's appetite so they'll really tune in and follow you guys. Yeah, there's, a, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. I think that if, if you tuned in for the first episode and, and you're entertained, you're in for a, a good ride. It's going to be a, a great summer with a lot of ups and downs, a lot of love, a lot of hate, a lot of fighting, a lot of making up, a lot of sorries, a lot of love yous, a lot of everything. It's going to be great. Okay, so you were on The Bachelor, uh, The Bachelor or The Bachelorette? I'm not sure which one. Bachelorette. You were on The Bachelorette. Now you're on Siesta Keys. Is there a difference in these two types of shows? Uh, definitely a difference. You know, I, on The Bachelorette, I was kind of just a part of someone else's journey to find love. Um, and in Siesta Key, I kind of get to bring myself and my own story to it. You know, it's my own love story, my own work story, my own summer spent in Siesta Key story. So it's, it, it's, it's a lot more exciting. 
I would love for you guys to come back because I, I want to know how do you parlay this into something after you, your part is over on here, or is it just uh, a thing in the moment and you guys are satisfied? That's real interesting to my audience. Yeah, well, I think Robbie is the best person to answer that because he has had he has a past of, with reality TV and he's still going. Like he still yeah. has a business from it. Um, I think we all could learn from you. There's a recipe way. to you know why I moved in the way that I did. Um, and, and I'm not just hopping from show to show, you know, part of it's, you know, you've got to pay the bills. The other part of it is, you know, I'm following my heart like I always have from season one of The Bachelorette. Um, you know, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. And when the opportunity arose and I was already kind of, you know, courting and dating Juliet to go out on Siesta Key and not only, you know, sh show how I can treat Juliet as a woman and as my girlfriend, but also at the same time launch an agency off the ground. Um, is a blessing. And, and, and so um, yeah. that's kind of what led me here. And I appreciate your kind words. And I think also social media is so big these days. And that that does give all of us a big platform and a, a big fan base to, Amen. you know, make money. Off it of. does. For sure. Well, you guys are stars of tomorrow. I really like you guys. Aww. When do you guys you want us to watch you? You're sweet. Thank you. Uh, so Siesta Key is on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. On MTV. On MTV, the place to be. I want to thank right. you guys. I wish you the best of luck. Come back when they renew your contract. Love to talk to you. Thank, thank you, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and The Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit CreditHelpTX.com Click on the Valder BB Show icon and get started living life divinely. <music>